Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today we're going to be taking a look at the differences between the Elite 750 and the Elite 550 ECUs and the Platinum Sport and Sprint range of ECUs. So let's first look at the similarities between all of these products. Firstly, all of these units are real-time, fully programmable fuel and ignition ECUs. All of these ECUs can be used on a wide range of engines and will interface directly with most OEM sensor types, including most common crank and cam sensor patterns. All of these units can be programmed using the volumetric efficiency tuning method, which makes calibrating the fuel map particularly simple. All of these units have some form of O2 control, but not all of them have long-term learning, and we'll cover this in just a moment. All of these units can be used on both piston and rotary engines, and all of them have multiple fully programmable rev limiter functions. All of them will communicate directly with the Haltech CAN network of devices, such as our CAN wideband, our IO expansion box, our thermocouple amplifier box, and also the Haltech Racepack IQ3 display and data logging dashes. So what about the differences? Well, let's start with a quick overview of the difference between the older Platinum ECUs and the newer Elite Series ECUs. The first and most obvious difference is the case. The Elite Series products have an environmentally sealed polyamide case that protects the internal electronics against water, dust, fuel, oil, and that sort of thing. The Platinum Series ECUs have an extruded aluminium case that is in no way water, dust, or oil proof. But the differences don't just stop at the case. The internal electronics are worlds apart. The Elite Series ECUs are powered by a multi-core processing unit that's up to eight times faster than the Platinum Series ECUs. It's 24 times more powerful and has up to a thousand times more memory. So it suffice to say that all Elite Series ECUs are a significant electronic hardware upgrade to the Platinum Series. Now when it comes to features and functions within the ECU, the additional processing speed and power of the Elite Series ECUs allows for a much more flexible tuning arrangement. For that reason, all Elite Series products are calibrated through the ESP programming software, whereas Platinum Series ECUs are calibrated through a different software package known as ECU Manager. So what exactly does it mean that the Elite Series allows for a more flexible tuning arrangement? Well, basically it means that in the Elite Series ECU, you have the ability to create your own custom engine calibrating maps based on, well, anything you can think of. So, if you wanted to add a front wheel height sensor and set up an ignition correction map that reduced engine power when the front wheels got too high off the ground, then that's possible. If you wanted to create a boost correction map based on a combination of, say, road speed and steering angle, well, you can do that. If you wanted to deliver a different amount of fuel based on the amount of fuel you have left in the tank, then you can do that too. The options for creating custom mapping strategies are literally limited only by your own imagination and abilities. One of the more exciting differences between the Elite and the Platinum Series ECUs is in the specific area of O2 control. Now all Sport Series ECUs have closed loop O2 control, but this O2 control is short term only, which basically means that the ECU reads the O2 sensor, it recognises that the air fuel ratio is not what it should be, so it increases or decreases the fuel delivery accordingly until the actual air fuel, air fuel ratio is equal to the target air fuel ratio. However, this is short term only, which means that the sport ECUs never learn anything. So next time the engine's at that same point, the same thing happens. The ECU recognises from the O2 sensor that the air fuel ratio isn't what it should be. It makes a change, plus or minus, until the air fuel ratio is back where it should be, which in some respects is fine. But what happens if you have an O2 sensor failure? Now this loop is broken because the ECU has no way of knowing what the actual air fuel ratio is, so it can't make any adjustments. The engine just continues to run rich or lean. Now that's on the Sport Series ECU. On the Elite 750 ECU, on the other hand, things are more intelligent. What has been added is a long-term fuel correction. Now, in this case, the ECU still looks at the O2 sensor, it still recognises that the target and the actual air fuel ratio are not equal, and it still adjusts the fuel delivery until the actual air fuel ratio is equal to the target air fuel ratio. But now, in the Elite 750, the ECU learns how much fuel the ECU needed to add or subtract to meet this target 
and it saves the information in this thing called the long-term fuel trim map. So over time, the fuel map itself actually gets more accurate. Now in the situation where an O2 sensor fails, because the ECU has learned where the fuel map is too rich or too lean, the engine actually still runs correctly in all conditions. So the big differences between these ranges, the case, the software package, the upgraded electronics, long-term O2 control, and a much more flexible tuning package. If you have any more specific questions, please don't hesitate to contact our sales staff directly by emailing sales at healthdev.com or calling the USA office on 760-598-1941 or Haltech Australia on 02 Well, I'm Matt from Haltech, and I'll see you next time.